For the last several weeks, we've been at our cabin in Montana, enjoying the snow and new friends and family. And we also drove over to Seattle, where Finn found the Volkswagen van he'd been searching for. Then we all came back to the boat in Florida to prep for just catamarans to install our brand new Yanmar engines. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue We scream it only, I'll be saved We tell ourselves the line that I just let it flow away Hey guys, welcome back to today's show. Guess what? This week we are installing the new engines, and here they are, straight from the Netherlands, Yanmar 110s. These brand new 110 horsepower engines were built in the Netherlands and sent to Mastery Engine Center in Florida to install the second alternator and remote oil filter. The engines are run by their in-house tech to check for any issues and make sure all electronics work properly. Then they're carefully packed and sent to Just Catamarans for Zatara. Turbocharged, ready to go. I got all the controls in here. I got digital displays. I got start stop buttons. I got turbochargers. I got remote oil filter system on these things. I'm so excited to get them opened up and get them in the boat. In the meantime, they're over at the boat right now, cutting, making holes so they can take the old Volvo engines out of there. One of the reasons I went with Yanmar is because the first boat we had, the, the, the monohull, the Yanmar engine we had in that thing was flawless. It just never caused any problems. It worked all the time, never had any issues with it. And everywhere I go, the Yanmar engines are always just running, 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 running. And, and I like that. I like, I like reliability. And I like the worldwide service network of Yanmar. I know this sounds like a sales pitch, but Yanmar is everywhere in the world. And so I just like it. And I'm glad to have them. And with the kids leaving the boat, I want reliability on our boat. I want something that I can count on. So because it's just going to be me and Renee most of the time. And I want something I can count on. So we're excited about Yanmar. We're looking forward to it. We're here at Just Catamarans. They are doing all the hard work of cutting out the fiberglass, doing all the installs. So we're really excited about that. And uh, hopefully in about 10 days. Run, 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 run. All right. <laughs> I want to open this box up. So I went and got some pliers. They're going to let me open these bad boys up right here. Oh, oh, that feel good. Oh, you know how that feels, guys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, did y'all feel that on the camera? <laughs> I felt it a little bit here. I think I just peed myself right. a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Just a, just a little pee right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now let's see what's in here. Da 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 da. Oh. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Wow, it's so clean. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. And there's boxes inside of boxes. It's like Christmas time. It's all noise. It's Christmas time. Oh, look at this. Everything's going to work. You know, I got those emergency stops on mine. Here's an emergency stop, run stop. So I can stop and start the engine right there at the when I'm working on it. Mm. Hopefully I won't be working on it. Right. Hopefully there will be no working on it. What do we got in here? We got the transmission. And I got I went with manual transmissions, guys. Or manual actuated stuff. So that uh, here's the throttle. So that if anything ever happens and my electronics go down or something like that, I can always put the engine in gear manually. And I can actuate the throttle manually. I didn't want electrical uh, controls on that, and uh, so that's what that's what we did. Oh, it's, yeah, it looks really good. This box right here is a remote oil filter, so I wanted I wanted to put the oil filter somewhere other than on the engine. I'm going to put it back there where I have my oil pumps, so I can change the oil filter without ever having to uh, that's cool. climb down around the engine. That's really cool. And then, 
What else we got here? Let's look at the control. Oh. They made this one impossible, but let's get it open. We're going to open it up. We're going to open it up. Oh, that's the other thing I put on these engines. I got the Balmar alternators, accessory alternators. I hope they put out enough juice. They got to be putting out some kind of juice for my deal. But that's the Balmar accessory alternator. There's the engine alternator. You know, on my Volvos, this, this, this alternator was mounted below the water pump. So every time the water pump would leak, it'd leak onto the alternator. No more of that jazz. The jazz of science is over. <laughs> so this is all good. All right, now we're going to see what's in this other box. Gotta get in here, guys. A kid with a new toy. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time in the city. I didn't come over here prepared with a knife. I don't think that matters. Oh, this is what I got going. <laughs> they taped this up like this is a nun and none in a what? None in a none in a pickle form. <laughs> I hope there's no nuns watching. Don't go to a pickle farm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, look at this stuff. We gotta get in here. So look at that. Real sleek, start stop button. Right like that. Those are gonna mount. And then I got the, the Simrad displays. Now I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, Keith, you need some analog displays, and I am old school, having analog engine temps and stuff like that, but I've got backups because this stuff will all go through my BNG chart plotters as well. So that's going to be the show all the engine mm -hmm. stuff on there. Nice. And uh, I hope, and if I, if I need to, I guess I could probably put some analog stuff on there, but I think this is going to serve the purpose. I Just like the tech. For redundancy or what? Yeah, redundancy. To be able to see that. What's really nice is it all plugs into my B&G chart plotter, so I can have it on my chart plotters as well. And the harnesses, wiring harnesses. That's all good. That's all good. Cool. All right. All right, I'm going to see what I can do with this kitchen. This hideous uh, gray, it's like a metal backsplash on the walls. I don't know. I found something on Amazon. going to try to... Stick it peeling sticky and see if it works. So this is not looking bad at all, actually. I don't like it. It looks way better than the gray metal looking stuff. This is like some kind of, I don't know what it is. Metal? I don't know. It's just dingy and nasty. Anyway, this looks good. I like it. Doing the windows is difficult. And I can get some trim to go up here, or I could just slice one small. But I think there's like uh, trim, molding, crown molding, can you put on there? Yeah, I think I like it. I think it's gonna be good. My inspiration comes from a friend's boat, which is also a privileged catamaran. And I really like how it looks and how easy it is to do. I also ordered that giant sink, which will be in in a few days. Okay, it's finished. I actually like it a lot. I think it looks really, really good. Keith put the microwave in that little cubby hole that used to have tea. It was just a locker. And so we recessed that back in there. And the tiles were kind of difficult to put on in a lot of places. Just cutting around the edges, making it look natural was a little tricky, but got it done, put the trim on, and I'm very pleased with it. I am really, really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, we've got lots more counter space now that the microwave is, is recessed. And also I'm getting the new sink in a few days, a nice big rectangle sink. That's gonna be exciting. And anyway, I'm very, very happy with my new kitchen. Finn, tell me what's going on. So right now we are taking the engines out of the engine compartment and then putting the new ones in sometime this week. And they are using our? 
mass halyard and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easier. Do like a car with a moon roof, just where they retract. Yeah. Like. The guys at Just Catamarans really know what they're doing. Initially, we were a bit worried when they told us they were going to have to cut the fiberglass to make big holes in our boat, but they did a really good job. Their work was very professionally done, and they removed both engines quickly and smoothly and without any problems. One Jack. down, one to go. Holes are empty, Kate. Step one. We can't go anywhere if we wanted to. <laughs> We'd have to throw a sail out and sail out of the marina. Hey, that's what step one's for, though, you know? <laughs> I think that would be impossible. Yeah. I'm sure people have done it before. All right. Good job, Just Catamarans. Yeah. yeah. So, we are going to get this. this Captain seat reupholstered. Yes, it needs. It started to come loose. So, anyway, you can guys see that this is coming apart. Yeah, it looks terrible. 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 Take that in. Get that fixed. Take that in. Get that fixed. And what are they doing in the engine compartments right now? So they're painting them. The old engine. They're sanding and painting where the where the old engines were. Cleaning them up. They're going to be fresh and new by the end of the day. Fresh and new. And then when do we get? The new engines. Uh, the probably uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. They're going to be mounting them in. Sweet. They still got to pull wires out. They got to mount all our new displays up here. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. So. Awesome. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna, and, be, it's gonna and be fabulous. And when are we getting the dinghy? The new dinghy. I don't know. We're waiting on nautical adventures to get that over here. Finish. Finish doing what they need to be doing, and that's what we're doing. Okay, cool. That's what we're doing. So get out of my way. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. And there's Jack. Jack, what are you doing today? I'm getting my shoes on, and then I'm gonna, gonna, we're going to, I don't know exactly where it is we're going, I'm submitting my, I'm submitting my captain's certificates to the United States Coast Guard to get the actual physical copy of my license. Exciting. So, That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Let's go. All right. So we rented a car for a month, which is a lot cheaper than renting it by the day, since we're gonna be here in Florida for at least four weeks came out to about 30 bucks a day to rent this big nice SUV so that's pretty cool and since we have an extra guest we needed room for six people because Mackenzie's with us As you know, every time we get to the city, we get lots of things done. We're getting all sorts of things done on the boat right now. I can't even think of everything. Engines, obviously, we're selling the old dinghy, getting a new dinghy. 
We got some new Lumitech lights coming. We got some new CTM thermostat covers, ice maker, getting that repaired. Um, we had a guy come out and look at it and he said it was a solenoid or something that Keith has. So Keith is gonna fix it. And what else? I redid the kitchen. Uh, I can't think, lots of stuff. We're listing those engines for sale on like eBay and Facebook Marketplace, but otherwise, if they don't sell, I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Um, because we're gonna get on the boat as soon as all this is done in about two weeks and take it down to Grenada, get it out of hurricane zone. So that's what we're doing. All right, you guys know how we're always filling our kites up? Well, ScanStrut sent us these brand new spanking, and these are mountable air pumps. And they mount, I'm gonna mount one on each side of the boat. Oh, that's cool. And they'll mount flush over there by, by the winches. It's neat. And let me open one up. Is it cool? Is it cool? Good. And you hook your, it'll be sitting right there on the side of the boat. And you hook your hose up to deflate or inflate a paddleboard or whatever. Set your pressure and bing, it's That's all cool. wired in. I don't got to worry about charging anything. You don't have to haul them from I inside. I don't have to haul them. They'll be okay. mounted. They're 12 volt. And they'll be ready to go. Just like that. That's cool. Neat. I like it. Boat's a mess. While it's under construction. Originally, I put these Lumitech Mirage lights in all throughout the boat because I wanted LEDs and I wanted controllable lights. And up here, I stuck some RGB, the full color spectrum lights in. <laughs> and I thought, well, that'd be great for night crossings because I can make them red. Yeah. So, but they're really white. And, and, yeah. and, and Lumitech even told me, Keith, you're not going to like those. And so <laughs> I put the soft white ones in, yeah. and we like those. Yeah. I'm just going to change out the hard white or the, the RGB color ones. Yeah. So yeah. that's the... We don't uh, turn many red lights on even on passage. Sometimes in the cockpit for me to get footage, but that's about it. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Right, pop these bad boys right out like this. Unscrew. Boom. Boom. Check a like a like a boom. Oh, the house is a mess. What? The house is such a mess. It is a mess. We're gonna keep a really dirty house, guys. Mm -mm. I'm just saying. Mm -mm. I tell her all the time. Oh my gosh. I'm tired of living in a pigsty. Oh my gosh. And. You guys Plus, know that's not true. Kids, me and the kids, we constantly are picking up after her. <laughs> so, I mean, constantly. It's, it's a never-ending battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The struggle is real, ladies. Mm -hmm. When you live with with a man who's so neat and orderly, OCDs over every little thing. Oh, my gosh. You know, All right, it's getting thick here. You know what I'm talking about, it's, girls. And the flood is rising. Yeah. Kate, y'all didn't know, on European boats... Brown is hot, or L1, and blue is neutral or ground. Ground is really green and yellow, but uh, that's just the way this one is. And light comes on, and just like that, I'm a hero again. Look at that. He's got skills. I don't I care what you say. Skills. So after much searching, he finally found the ice maker part. Good to find. See, his organization system is really, really good. He throws everything no, in a bucket. No, 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 no. And then he can't find anything. No. Yes. No, no. And he blames it on me no, for putting no, it somewhere. when she wants to clean, I just start putting stuff up. I do not. I always ask you where you want me to put stuff. Yeah, but I don't know where it needs to go. Okay, so you're going to fix the ice maker now? I'm going to try. I can't do that right quick. What the guy that came out, the repairman said. He said it was this. $250. I could have told you it was this. I'm not quite sure it's this, though. No, oh, but he wanted to charge another $250 to replace they the part. They wanted a $20 part. They wanted to charge $150 for it. But his whole bill was going to be $500. Bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so busy that I thought, okay. 
Yeah. I can do that. No. Build switch for that build down there. Excellent. All kinds of things going on. So if it's not this part, you can call that guy to come out again, right? <laughs> and not pay him anymore, and he's got to figure out what it is, because we already paid him two hundred fifty dollars to look at it and tell you is that part. Okay, so yeah, see if that works. I'll see if that works. All right, this is just getting water everywhere. There's water all over the place. Uh, it's dripping everywhere, so I turned it off. I'm dripping. It's not good. Ben? Water everywhere. Dang it. We're going to go on that boat. Yeah. Yes. All right, Keith got a new shirt. Kate looks beautiful. We're going to go uh, hey hang out on a boat. All right. This is Brett. <laughs> Brett is a friend, doctor, fan. Where's ben? Keith's Where's ben? brother from another mother. A brother from another mother, right here. If you guys are ever in South Florida, look up Mr. Brett. He's a great guy, great friend. Oh wow! Just to be able to hang out with the wealth of knowledge, the <laughs> oracle of sailing. There you go. World-renowned circumnavigator Keith Whitaker has now given up the helm. I've given up to the, the old lady, and it's a good thing it's not my boat, so I'm not paying for it if he wrecked, because Brett gave it up willingly. So if, if Nene wrecks the boat, it's it's Brett's deal, not mine. So I'm I'm covered. Hopefully, we'll make it back safely. Don't miss the next episode. <laughs>